Today we're going to install React 19 using Vite. And I'm also going to show you a little trick at the end. So let's get started with the video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Noru PM. I teach web development. Subscribe and like this video. And let's get started with the tutorial. So React 19 is out. It is stable. And I'm going to just show you really quickly how you can use it in a Vite project. Because with this, Vite is the quickest when it comes to starting up a React project. So we're going to go ahead. I have Visual Studio Code open. I just created a folder on my desktop called it code dragged and dropped it in there so let's get dirty quickly started call down command and tilde open up the terminal i'm going to npm create beat at latest hit enter it's going to take just a couple of seconds then it's going to ask us for a project so i'm just going to leave it at beat project now it's going to ask us which framework just going to drag this to the top which framework do we want to use do we want to use vanilla javascript of course we want to use react and i'm going to just take now javascript vanilla javascript files so so we need to now cd into the project in order to get started with our vite application we just created a new folder called vite project so cd tab is going to give you the very first folder of the folders that uh, are in there hit enter and now we are in our project in our vite project folder from here we need to install all our all our dependencies in school it's going to open this up so npm just like it stays is stated there install or you can just type in i npm i so install hit enter and it's going to keep a couple uh, take a couple of seconds and Vite is going to install all of our dependencies that we need for our well, Vite slash React version 19 project. And there we go. So from here, all I want to do is in order to demonstrate that we have the correct React application installed, we're going to go to our app.jsx in our source folder, scroll down and you can import and display right where do we have it here. Where's our H1? Let's just do after that a small tag and let's type in here between curly brackets version. Now this is going to automatically import from react as you can see stated here the version of react hit save and also check if up here in the very first import where use state is imported also a comma dot version is also being imported now let's go to our command run and dev remember we are in a vid project now hit enter and this should pull up localhost 5173 and just control click and we have oh no what is this did you click bait us did you lie to us no so we have react version 18.3.1 currently installed. You know what? Let me just change this small tag to a H2. It's safe. So we can see it more clearly. So version 18.3. So what is happening here? Well, we will support version 19, automatically install version 19. It's just going to take a couple of days or maybe weeks even. Uh, until now, there's no official release date, but I'm going to show you how to install React 19. So it's actually pretty simple. We're going to go back to our project. We're going to go to the terminal, start this so control C or command C you just stopped our project if I would refresh this it should no longer work and now we are going to npm I for install just can type out install if you want react at 19 and react dash dom at 19 so basically the version 19 now before I hit enter I'm just going to show you something in our package.json you can also check here that your dependencies like react and react dom are 18 and 18.3.1 uh, 18 we're going to close this up go back to terminal hit enter let this do its stuff now you can check back in your package.json and you should see react 19 also we can now run the command npn run dev hit enter and open this up once more and now you can see it's the version 19 so voila that's all it takes but before i let you go here there's one little trick i want to show you you see this port here if this is annoying 5173 and you want to be on port 3000 and here's how you're going to do it you're going to first of all stop the terminal so stop this now we're going to go into vit.config down here I hope you, can. you know what i'm going to remove my face we don't need our face my face for this so it's vit.config down here open this up and right here we're going to type in server open and close the brackets and we're going to type in port and then 3000 hit save and this is pretty much it we can now run mpn run dev again and this should open now up on port 3000. Click on this and there you go, port 3000. 
Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. One less important thing. One less important thing. I'm going to show you something. You need to have, I'm going to stop. I uh, you know what, I'm going to open a new terminal. So terminal, new terminal. Check the version of your node. If you, and you're going to do the following, node dash V, and you should have a version 20 and above. I have version 22.11. I don't know what the latest version is, but please install the latest version of Node.js before you try uh, installing React 19. I'm going to leave a link in the video description to Node Node.js to the React documentation to the blog post to this video where it is explicitly described step by step this entire process. So hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something. I'm NordPM and I teach web development. So like and subscribe. Catch you next time. Bye 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 bye.